we went through that pretty fast. Let's go ahead and recap this just a little bit. And we're going to do this actually in the browser. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that I have address.js open over here, and I'll put a breakpoint right here. And I'm going to put in my address again. And we'll say uh, San Francisco, California, and some zip code. Okay, now looking at this, we can get the value from name, we get the value from street. We get the value from city, from state, and from zip code. Okay, we have all of our values the way that we want them. And then we make an empty string. We'll watch what each one of these lines of code does. So we say, okay, take my empty string and let's add on to it a name and a break. So if I click on F10 again to go to the next step, you can see Nathan break. And that break will actually be rendered in HTML, which is how we get a little like mailing label type uh, message displayed. And then we'll add street and then another break. Okay, so this is actually just a JavaScript string, right? But these breaks are gonna end up being uh, computed when it runs in HTML. And then we'll add city, comma, space, state, comma, space, and zip. And then you can see that's what we have. Okay, and then we'll just output that. And then you can see that those breaks were, were actually rendered. Okay, uh, one thing I might wanna change, I probably don't want that there. I don't think we, we do that. Um, and let's see. I think that's pretty much it.